Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are visiting one of my organic herds and we are taking a look at a cow who's got an abscess in her right front foot. If you look close you could notice that this inside claw, the medial claw, has got some swelling up near the top. That's one of the first things I look for when I'm trying to identify lameness is if a cow's got a swollen toe, which one it is, that'll give me an idea on where to start looking to see if there is a problem. In this case, it was pre pretty easy to identify. You can see near the white line, there's a small hole there, which is uh, the abscess itself starting to work its way out. Um, what caused this? Really, it's hard to tell. She's a, This is a pasture cow, so there's a lot of different things that could have happened. She could have had an injury due to um, uneven paths. She could have had a small rock or stone uh, enter that white line. Any of these things can cause a, a white line defect or an abscess in this case. Throughout this trim, if you watch carefully, you'll see in the right-hand corner the farm dog Levi keeps sneaking in there. Farm dogs love these little pieces of hoof that come off, and whenever I'm at the farms, dogs tend to be my best friends. As I'm working around this lesion and trimming out that outside wall, it may look as though my knives are dull, but what you're looking at here is some, that outside wall, especially on grazing herds, are, it's very dry and hard. So imagine trying to cut a piece of uh, hardwood, say, and do it with a controlled action as to not cut something underneath it. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm, I'm trying to lift and pull with my knife to cut away um, so to avoid that corium underneath. You don't want to hit that. And this is, it's kind of a difficult situation with this outside wall because it's so close to the lesion and you have to be very careful not to let your knife dig in when you're trying to get that hoof away. By taking my time with my knife, paring this away, I'm able to complete this entire trim without nicking not even a little piece of corium. And that can be key when you're trying to get a lesion to heal, is to not damage any new tissue around it that you don't have to. Here I'm prepping the other claw to apply a block to it. While that adhesive is setting up on this block, I'm gonna finish cleaning up that wound from the other side. The whole purpose of a block is to elevate that injured claw off the ground to give it time to rest and heal.
because there appears to be a little digital dermatitis on this lesion, I'm going to add some salicylic acid powder to uh, help kill that and reduce some inflammation. Uh, salicylic acid is a common um, chemical used in face creams and things like that, that for people actually. No, this is not the first foot I've ever wrapped. I've got a bad batch of wraps lately, and these things do not want to come off the roll right. All right, guys, as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.